All right, so I'm going to just paste in my inner join here that I did in the inner join video. If you don't understand what's going here, be sure to watch the inner join on multiple tables video to see how we got here. Um, but now that I've got these tables connected, and you guys remember from over here, I had to go through all four tables to get there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bigger since we're just working on this. Um, what I want to do now is uh, subdivide this information because you'll see right now when I run this thing, I see every person and what movies they've watched. And that's a great report. But maybe I only wanted to know what John Jones watched. So I can start adding where to filter this. Just show me where, for instance, member details dot L name equals Jones. And that's going to show me just the ones with John and Jenny Jones. And if I want to go farther, I can further divide that, you know, and just say, and so that I'm going to, I'm going to do, it has to be both of these, not just one or the other and member details dot F name equals Jenny. Cause I only want to see the ones Jenny watched, not the ones John watched. And now you can see I've divided it even farther down. So you can start putting these things together. And remember, it doesn't have to be on something that's visible. For instance, I could say where member details, let's just pick something at random, member details dot, uh, you know, um, say street, well, let's say date of join, date of join, is greater than, oh, uh, let's say 1986. It'll probably give me something that uh, 12, uh, 1. I don't know if that'll give me a good report of people or not. Yeah, it'll look everybody. So you know, I can see everybody, because it's in, but you'll notice that the date doesn't show. It's always a good idea if you're doing sorts like this um, early in your career of, of writing, add that column just so you can check your information. There's nothing wrong. I don't, unless I specifically tell you not to, there's nothing wrong with adding columns to your reports to, sh to show that you checked. Don't add every column every time, but if you're checking on a particular column, you could add it up there just to confirm that everything is right. And uh, that would be okay with me. But that's the simplest way to add these wares. Um, remember that your where does have to be associated with some table that you're joined on, right? So I could, if I was doing it based on category ID, I think you've got a slide that does cat ID. I could say where categories, I don't know why it would mean be categories is important, dot cat. This may not work the way I think it's going to cat. ID cat. I can do this. I can type cat ID equals two. And uh, again, if that's what you were looking for, I, I again just kind of hitting random data. So whether or not that's perfect or not, it's hard to say. Um, but you can see that you can do these where's based on whatever one of these tables. Um, has the information you need. And a lot of times it just takes a lot of experimentation uh, to find it, but that's, that's where in a nutshell.